hip problems in big dogs. There is a treatment, and we're going to ask the vets. Good morning from the Boston Spa Veterinary Clinic. I'm Dr. Eric Anderson. Uh, this is my rehabilitation technician, Tina Zakharuski, and this is our friend Zoe. Uh, Zoe was on previously when we were talking about hip dysplasia, and unfortunately, uh, Zoe has severe hip dysplasia of her right hip. Uh, now, hip dysplasia is that malformation of the hip joint uh, where the, the ball just doesn't fit well in the socket. It's a genetic disease, and it's a disease primarily of large breed dogs. She was having symptoms as early as five months, and by the time she was 10 months old, she could barely put weight on the leg. So she needed surgery, and that was severe hip dysplasia. The two surgical options at that point uh, are either total hip replacement, where the ball is completely replaced with a prosthesis. Um, this is an expensive procedure. There are very few specialty hospitals that actually perform the procedure, and the owner elected to have us perform a femoral head ostectomy, or an FHO. In this procedure, the head of the femur uh, is removed, and the area forms what's called a false joint. So this is the femur as it lays here, and the line uh, shows how the top part, the head, is actually cut off or removed, and that's an FHO. And it can be very uh, successful and helpful. It removes the source of pain where we've got bone on bone uh, happening in that joint space. And she's just out a week after surgery, and she's all in very good. From the Boston Spa Veterinary Clinic with my friends Zoe and Tina talking about hip dysplasia. We hope you never see it. If you do, we'll help you out. Thank you very much. All right, here it is. If you have a question, ask the vets at cbs6albany.com.